and play superheroes? Not now. I'm busy. Come on, Tyler. What's the matter? Okay, I have to make up a story for school. But that's fun, Tyler. And I'll bet you'll be a really great... Storyteller. Wait a minute, Pinky. I know what a... Storyteller is. That's a person who tells a tall tale. That's exactly right, little brother. But Pinky, what if I don't know how to make up a story? Hmm, don't know how to make up a story. That gives me an idea. Pinky, are you going to make up a story about making up a story? Yes, sir, Rooney, positively. Yes, sir, Rooney, positively. Okay, so one day... Uh, um, so one day... I... I don't know. Pinky, what's the matter? All my ideas are blocked. My mind's a blank. But Pinky, you're the best... <laughs> storyteller ever. Maybe you just need a little help. Maybe you should start, Tyler. How do I do that? Well, you can start with the characters or the setting. The setting? You mean the place where the story takes place? That's right, little brother. Go ahead, try it. Hmm, well, one day in the city of... Made Up Storyland! That's terrific. There was a main character, the queen of Made Up Storyland. Her name was Queen Pinky. That's a great beginning, little brother. Now we know where the story takes place and who's in it. Tell us more. Oh, um, Queen Pinky and all her friends were really excited because it was happily ever after day. That's the happiest, most fun day in Made Up Storyland. There were big blue bunny balloons that really hot when you blew them up. And streamers made her super stretchy string cheese. What a terrific day. It's happy, happily ever after day, Queen Pinky. Your pink castle sure looks pretty today. Wait a minute, Tyler. I really don't like pink. I know, I know, my hair is pink, my name is Pinky, but I don't like pink. I know Pinky, but this is my made-up character, Queen Pinky. Hey, I think you just gave me an idea for my story. Keep it coming, little bro. You're a great <laughs> storyteller. Thanks, Pinky. So where was I? And like I was saying, in celebration of Happily Ever After Day, I'm going to have the castle painted. But it has to be done before the Happily Ever After dinner that's with the whole village. You're the queen, queen. Oh, goody. What color should I repaint the castle? Should I paint it saucy red? Nah, too saucy. How about canary yellow? Nah, too birdie. I know. I'll ask Monsieur Dinky-Doo, the royal painter, to paint the castle with my favorite royal purple paint. At your service, your majesty. Perfect. So the royal painter started painting Queen Pinky's castle royal purple, and it looked really great. That looks much better. And I love purple. You're doing great, Tyler. And it sounds like we're getting to the middle of the story. That's the part where the characters have to deal with some kind of problem. Oh, right. Queen Pinky was about to have a big problem. Just as the royal painter was about to finish painting the castle. Uh. Uh. Ah! 
Ah! Oops, the daisy. He lost his balance and dropped his royal purple paint cans. Oh no! Oh no! It was just an accident, but those were two very heavy paint cans. So heavy, they broke the bridge leading to Queen Pinky's castle. Oh no! Now how will the villagers get over to my castle to eat the happily ever after feast? I have to do something. I'm the main character. It was way too hard to jump. Everybody across the bridge was getting hungry. I've got to find a way for the villagers to get from the beginning of my bridge to the middle to the end. Looks like it's time for me to think big. If I have a problem, don't know which way to go, I think and think and think and think. And suddenly I know. Bonk, Queen Pink, Bing! And then it happened. Queen Pinky had a big idea. Queen Pinky Dinky Doo knew just what to do. <laughs> it sounds like you're about to tell the end of the story, right? That's the part where the main character solves the problem. You got it! I've got it! If the blue bunny balloons use the string cheese streamers, they can hop and stretch the cheese, connecting the beginning, middle, and end of the bridge. And everyone can walk across. So the bunnies grab the string cheese streamer, and they hopped, hopped, and hopped. Voila! You did it! You have fixed the bridge! Achoo! Come on, villagers! It's time for the Happily Ever After Feast! And that's exactly what happened. Pretty much. The end. Tyler, that was terrific! You told a great story. It had a beginning, middle, and end, and everything. I think you even cured my... <laughs> storyteller's block. Now, I can tell you a story. Okay, so one day in... That's okay, Pinky. I think I know just the story to tell for school. Turns out, I'm a pretty good... <laughs> storyteller. You sure are, little brother. Sound like game time! Say cheese, please! Cheese, please! Okay, let's play a game called Was This a Setting? Was this a setting? I'm going to show you different settings or places. When you see a setting that was in the made-up story, shout yes! If it wasn't a setting in the made-up story, we're going to shout no! Right, little brother. Okay, let's play. Was this a setting in the made-up story? Yes, that was a setting in the made-up story. The pink castle got painted purple in the made-up story. Good job! How about Planet Squidor Prime? No, Pinky. Planet Squidor Prime wasn't a setting in the made-up story. That's right, little brother. Okay, how about this place? Great Big Public Library. Was this a setting in my made-up story? No, Pinky. That wasn't in your made-up story either. You sure are good at this, Tyler. Okay, one more. Was this a setting in my made-up story? Yes! That's how everyone got to the castle for the happily ever after feast. Yep, that's exactly where it happened. Pretty much. Okay, let's play a game called What Came First? What came first? I'm going to show you something that happened in my story. And we're going to say what came first. Yay! That's right, little brother. Hope you're ready to play. Okay, what happened first? Was it... I had my big idea? Or was it, we decorated the castle for the happily ever after feast? So, what came first? My big idea, or we decorated the castle for the happily ever after feast? 
You decorated the castle for the happily ever after feast. That happened before you had your big idea. You're right. Okay, so what came next in my story? Was it the bridge to the castle broke? Or I had my big idea? So, what came next in my story? The bridge to the castle broke? Or I had my big idea? The bridge broke! Right! First the bridge broke. Then I had my big idea that helped get everyone over the bridge for the happily ever after feast. And that's exactly how it happened. Pretty much. I love making up stories, and I bet you can make up a story too. <laughs>